right, this is Cowboy, and this is Cowboy's first day of the beginning of Force Fetch. And we always start our Force Fetch with our hold. And what we teach the dogs to hold first is a Schützend dumbbell. Um, this is a, a object that's used in the Schützen sport. Um, the dogs actually retrieve these over a climbing wall and over a jump, a meter jump. Um, but I've always used them in retriever training primarily for just the beginning of the hold. Um, they're very specially balanced. Um, they will actually balance right on the dog's lower canine teeth um, without the dog making any effort at all to hold it. So they're nicely balanced. Um, we've had clients make their own, um, but they often turn out to be a lot lighter. and. Um, they're not as well balanced, so um, these cost around $15 to $20, and they're just really nice items to have. Also, um, I don't like to use the retrieving bumpers at this point because when we start the hold training, almost every dog will resist, even though they've been carrying bumpers and carrying balls and carrying birds in their mouth um, voluntarily. Um, so when we start the hold training, almost every dog does do some sort of avoidance behavior because now we're asking them to hold something in their mouth on our terms instead of theirs. And so I like to use the wooden dumbbell because all of the negativity is directed towards the wooden dumbbell for the dog and we can still keep doing our motivational training, our fun, exciting retrieves with the bumpers or any, any of the other things that we've been using to get the dogs excited about retrieving. So here we go. We're going to open Cowboy's mouth and we're going to put the dumbbell gently in and we're going to make sure that his lips are not um, being pressed. So we're going to pull the lips back to make sure that there's no pain involved. And Cowboy's doing what almost every retriever does when we first start. He's trying, practically starting to do alligator rolls to get away. And that's normal. They all do this. And then what we want to do is, as quickly as we can, go ahead and put it back in. And our goal today is just to get him to accept this in his mouth. Not hold it, but to quit fighting. Good boy. Good. Oh, that's a good boy. Yes. And I try to pet him and just let them see that holding this, uh, this foreign object in their mouth is not going to hurt them. We're not trying to hurt them. We're just asking them to comply with what we're asking. Just want you to settle, settle down, and then we'll quit for the day. And you'll be done with your very first phase of training. Come on, let's open up your mouth. Come on. Open. Make sure the lips aren't pinched. That's it. Oh, good boy, cowboy. Good boy. Good. Shh. Shh. Good. Oh, that's a good boy. Well, I was going to quit, but then you started to spit it out before. So we're going to try again. We always want to get an achievement um, before we quit. So. Um, this session is probably lasting maybe 10-15 minutes. Um, it doesn't have to last that long, but I want to get some sort of progress made. And then we're going to quit on a good note. That's it. Good boy. Good. Oh, that's such a handsome fellow. Look at you. Okay, give. Oh, what a good boy! Cowboy! And now he gets a happy retreat. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Hey, bud. Come on. 